go to Kelly George Armstrong. First rode at the Canadian Finals when he was nine years old. Kit, as a no boy steer rider. Really? The only boy steer rider who's ever qualified for the Canadian Finals at the age of nine. Can you even imagine how ornery he was as a nine-year-old? Oh, wow. I remember very well because I was walking with him. Yeah, Talk but paybacks. He's getting his paybacks right now. You see that little blonde urchin running around <laughs> behind Robin? He is getting paid yeah, back know. for it. Can you imagine him as like a nine-year-old? He'd be scoping some major coog leather, I'm telling no, you. Oh, no, it's <laughs> that. That's my Quam new, <laughs> sorry. That's my new Canada term I learned, you know? Seeing some major cougar leather going around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just I've, saying it. I've seen more grandmothers wearing <laughs> leather this week than I've ever seen before in my life. Oh, nice jump. Kelly Armstrong and Quam's Bomb from Baird and Schellenberg. There might be a story right there with that name. There's a story with this guy who came in here and the sports medicine trainers told him not to ride. Yeah. His ride arm is ripped. But he's riding hey, and he's doing it in. well. Kelly yes. Armstrong with every twist and every yeah. turn. Ha <laughs> Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Well, his wife gave him an ultimatum. Ride or, or hide. He's the only guy in Canada that I know that chases cows in a snowbank in a straw hat. Yeah, what's up? Did you see that on that video? He's out of line. It's 20 below. Kelly's in a straw hat. What's up with that? 83 and a half. Woo! I heard what song you were playing. I can sing along. Well, we talk about some of those boys steer riders getting their start at the Canadian Finals Rodeo. Here's another example of it. Jason Finkbeiner.